Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Weartesters.com. Today we got a very small edition of unboxing a ton of dope shit. So it's not really unboxing a ton of dope shit. It's just unboxing some dope shit. A mini? Not a mini, because there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things, that's a good number of stuff. I don't know if the sneakers you got, you guys are gonna think is dope, but I think that they're dope. There is one pair over here. It's actually not a pair, it's a single, but those are awesome. Stay tuned for that. So this guy right here, I guess will, or should I do this last? If you want to. Okay, I don't know why she's having me open this now, because it's supposed to be my Christmas present, and it's not Christmas yet, but I'm not gonna complain. So the first thing we've got right here is a bobblehead. I got this while I was at the Warrior game with Under Armour. And this guy right here is clearly DeMarcus Cousins, also known as Boogie, one of Puma's new athletes and all that stuff. He was wearing a very clean pair of Puma wide courts on the court. They were all white with the black kind of Puma logo, which was dope. Don't know when those are coming out, but they should soon, hopefully. I mean, they've been doing like super bright colorways, but that's a tangent stay on topic and that's what these guys right here so this thing was free which I mean who doesn't like free things and here he is he's also heavy I don't know if he's got a lean to his head or, or what maybe his head's a little too big maybe he's getting used to that old California lifestyle or oh, he used to play in Sacramento but still but anyways it looked like he's having some fun right here almost a carry almost what shoes is he wearing they're just generic like what would you call those again um Galoshes? Yeah. It's <laughs> wearing some galoshes. Some PE galoshes. Paint job is a little sloppy. It's got a little run right there on the back. It's all good. The jersey was made by Nike, so you know how it goes. Burn. Now we're gonna get into these guys right here. We're gonna get into some sneakers. So this is a brand, a brand new brand called Lane 8. I think that what they've got going on is awesome. These are these are all three of their brand new colorways actually. Hey, get out of here. What are you doing? So these guys right here are Lane 8's brand new trainers, or not the brand new trainer, it's the new colorways of their trainer, the Trainer 81, right? Mm -hmm. Not the 1 AD? No, it's AD1. Okay. And they have a little bit of a different kind of tech spec to them where the first three colorways that launched inside the midsole here was very similar tech to this stuff right here, which was uh, like the Ignite foam and energy beads and all that stuff, very similar stuff. And they've actually taken that out of the midsole there and they've replaced it with their own formula of EVA. Now EVA has like a, a negative connotation to it for some reason. Excuse you, go. Just coming through. This guy, man, he's super rude. Now the insoles are exactly the same, so you still get the step in comfort and all that stuff. They're definitely thick insoles right there. So this is awesome right here. This has not changed. But again, the EVA compound that they've used is uh, a lightweight version of EVA. EVA has got different like types to it, different blends and all that stuff. Different brands call it different things. Some brands call it Cushlon. Some people call it Lunar Lawn. They call it Phylon. They, they call it like injected molded Phylon or compression molded Phylon and all that stuff. This one, it feels kind of on the bouncy side so I think it's more along the lines of an injected molded because those are lighter softer and they give you a little bit more feedback the good thing about that is that they were able to drop the price down because the compound that they use inside of here was a little bit cheaper to manufacture than that like you know ETPU that they were using so these now retail for 140 instead of 160 they still use the same kind of materials which is awesome so they got that knit build right there and then the premium overlays which is awesome and they come in super sweet colorways as well this one right here actually i really like i don't like all black shoes unfortunately so these ones right here are just not really my thing i love my black one i know you do but i don't like all black shoes normally i don't either but i really like those ones there, there was only one pair of all black shoes that i really really liked that i've had my whole life and it was the black cat air jordan threes and i wore the hell out of those things you remember those mm -hmm. so i i love those but they had like some contrast to them i don't know this is just a little too too plain for me but these guys are my thing and i think that these would look sweet if you just like swapped the laces with each other so the maroon had the blue laces the blue had the maroon i've seen some people actually like wear one on each foot which is kind of cool but these things are trainers so they are made for you know training obviously you can run in them if you want to they're also great for lifestyle so this is supposed to be kind of like your everything shoe i really like what they're doing i think that it's awesome so yeah so these are the three new colorways i think that they're dope you can get the original colors at the new price point now too they changed the tech in them okay well that's cool so that's awesome but if y'all want to try them out, go for it. I think that it is a really cool brand. I like what they're doing. So go out there and try new things. Also, you can take this insole and put it in any of your shoes. Imagine this in an Air Jordan 3. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. A genius. <laughs>
Why haven't I done that before? I don't know where to go now. I think I'm gonna go over here. Stick it with sneakers just because the thing that's down here is really heavy. That's what she said. <laughs> no? I don't think so. Tim. Why not? Come on, man. Let me have one. This right here is one of the coolest shoes that I have. And unfortunately, it's only the left one. But look at this beauty. Look at that. Just look at it. This is special. You know what's very special about this guy right here? It's not really a shoe. It's a block of wood. At least it used to be. So this is done by these guys right here. Sneak Lab. And these guys are based overseas in the UK and you can see their contact info here. I'm going to also place their contact info in the description box below. But basically these guys have taken blocks of wood and other items too. They use like a urethane and all that stuff so they make clear ones of these. But they take a block of wood. They don't like, you know, I don't know, like glue a bunch of pieces together. They just take a solid block and then this dude chisels this thing down to this. Why are you smiling? You don't think this is cool? No, I was thinking of the word whittler. That's what he is. He's whittling Yeah, he's the a wood, wood whittler, <laughs> but he whittles cool stuff. He yeah. doesn't whittle clogs or anything. He whittles f***ing Jordans. This is sick. You should see his Air Jordan 1, man. Like, oh, uh, he makes him look vintage like this. You know what I'm saying? It looks super sick. The only thing that would, would make this shoe better looking is if that had Nike Air on the back instead of the jump man but the guy's not like a sneaker head he's just an artist and he was like hey this would be cool to like put on the back shelf right there which is probably what i'm gonna do it's gonna be awesome although i don't know if that shelf can handle this it's a little heavy i don't know if this shelf with this on it can handle it when i run into the shelf yeah because that hurts i've gotten some bruises but this thing is super cool man he put on real laces on these things dude this is so sick look at the outsole it's so accurate it's ridiculous like if you did not know that this was a piece of wood you would just think like bruh you need to throw those out that's exactly what these guys look like right here man it's insane remember when you tried to hand it to bianca i do remember when i tried to hand it to bianca and she almost didn't touch it she was just like Ugh. No. And I was just like, no, for real, man, check it out. And then when I put it in her hand, she was like, what is, this is not a sneaker. And I was like, I know it's awesome. Like they even got the inside done. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but inside there, you got the jump man in there. It's so cool, dude. This is real art. Like sneakers are art in, in and of themselves, but this is taking that and one upping it basically. It's like when you dip your shoes in bronze, this is cool. Cause you can keep your shoes. You don't have to dip them in bronze. You know what I mean? You can have somebody just make a replica of them out of wood. Do adults do that? Like that's I, a baby shoe thing. No, I have a friend of mine that, that did it. Okay. Yeah, it's cool, man. You can do what you want. So check them out if you're interested. Link is in the description along with their socials and all that stuff. Stay tuned as well because they are going to be doing a giveaway on one of these things. So you'll want to check, check that out as well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whew. So this big old thing right here is brought to you or brought to me then shown to you by this place called Displate. I will also leave their information in the description box. I'm trying to like, you know, like get myself ready because uh, this thing opens up like so. Oh dude, these are so, oh man, these are sick. These are hella sick. So I know that a lot of you guys like the nerd and that you're mad that I don't put it on this channel anymore. So this is for you guys. You guys are gonna like this. Check them out, dude, this is sick. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Did they give me a card too? An exclusive 30% off discount? Should I give this away to somebody? Sure. Maybe. Stay tuned to my socials. This is sick. Look at this. This is a piece of tin. Like it's metal and they printed this on here. There's something in the back here. I don't know if it's uh, something to help hang it or what. Displate right up there. You can see it. It says displate. Display yourself. Uh, so anything that you're into, I guess they're numbered and signed and all that stuff. So yeah, these are their large ones. They got them in all different sizes. So if you don't want like something this big, you want something a little bit more manageable so that you can like get multiples of them and they don't take up a ton of wall space and you could do that. This is number one. I think that, that thing is sick. We got more in here, so woo! Oh man, this is cool. I picked these out myself, but look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love. You guys look like twins. Oh man. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a quote from the movie when he kisses the screen, when he kisses April and he's like, I'm in love. It doesn't look like there's anchovies on this thing. Little turtle humor. I get it. Yeah, you get it? I do. If you put anchovies on this thing, you're in big trouble, dude. And you know, when I see this stuff, dude, that makes me want to cry. Like Again? for real. Yes, I know. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm hitting menopause. <laughs> Cause this right here, dude, this stuff reminds me of being a kid. A time in which I wish never passed. But anyways, this is Leo. I think this is awesome. We're going to keep it moving. Cause there's a few more in here. 
look at it. This one was awesome, dude. Like, I had to have this one. This one was sick. I'm gonna have to go back and grab uh, Raph and Donnie. Now, this is the last one. And this is for all of you retro heads out there. Because this is something that's just recently come back around. That is my childhood. That and those guys right there. They raised me. And comic books. Shout out to Stan Lee. This is dope, man. Man, this is cool. This looks so dope. This is gonna go in our game room, dude. I got the Justice League one for my son. He just doesn't know it yet, so that'd be cool to give to him. He's gonna be excited. So shout out to Display. Go check them out. That stuff was dope, dude. They got so much stuff. Okay, so I got a couple minutes left, and we're gonna open up my Christmas gift from Mrs. Wing. What? You like it? Did you get that from GameStop? Yeah. Man. You're gonna cry? No, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. This is dope. This is like my first one. This is my first statue. I've never had one of these before. Look at the, oh, you guys can't even see it. He's in there though. He's in there. Can you see him? He looks like that in there though. You can pull him out. This is sick. Oh, it opens. Oh, this is cool. Look at the cool art, man. Man, this camera's only, it's cutting off his head, but it's okay. Look at that body. Look at those pecs. I'm built like this from the waist down. From the waist up, not so much. This is cool, dude. Oh, what, Boogie's heavier than this? It's just plastic? Well, that's weird. I thought so too. That's hella weird. That means it can go on my shelf at least. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. And he's got his Escrima sticks in there. I love this costume. This costume is the best. I know that a lot of people like the, the black and red one and all that stuff from like the New 52 or whatever, but nah, man, like this costume right here and not the disco costume, but the one right afterwards where he had the really long hair and it had the, like the yellow thing right there. Those are the two best costumes, that one and this one. But this is my favorite though. This, is, this one is dope. And I like that it's metallic. Some people say that I look like this dude, but I don't think so. No. He's like way more sexy than me. No. You don't think so? Look at this guy. Like if I was into dudes, I'd be like, yeah. No? No. Not even with that butt. I like your butt better. We're not gonna put that in there. <laughs> right? You brought it up. <laughs> so that pretty much takes care of unboxing a ton of dope I think that this is awesome. What a way to end it, man. This is cool. On some Nightwing Steez right there. Maybe I'll put him on the shelf back here. Maybe I'll replace that Nightwing with the new one. Or you can add to it. You don't wanna have too much Nightwing. I have too much Nightwing all the time. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. If you want to check out anything, this is available at GameStop. Sneak Lab. Yeah, Sneak Lab in the description. The boogie thing, not available. Lane 8 down in the description box. These things, dude. Disc plates. Disc plate, man. Yo. I'm telling you, I want to grab the Mikey one again. The Mikey one is epic, but this is so cool, dude. Like, go check them out. This stuff is awesome. If you have your own, like, man cave, or you just like to piss off your significant other by getting this stuff and putting it on the walls anyways, go for it, dude. If you have a son that you want to live vicariously through, this is what's up. This was a ton of dope shit. I know, and I realized we could have done that cool piece of artwork. What cool piece of artwork? That Kicks by V son. Mm. Do you want to try and Throw it in it here. In? Get it over here real quick. One more thing. This is also made out of metal, but big thank you. Big, 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 big thank you to fellow, uh, I, I wouldn't call him a wear tester, but like he's part of the squad, right? Yeah. He's like a fan. He's or, always chiming in. Or a supporter. Yeah, Kicks by V. I did receive this. Thank you so much, man. This is so cool. I don't know what to say, honestly, because I think it's weird when people send me stuff. Not brands, but like I think it's weird when people send me stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that this is super dope, man. So like, I don't know where you got this from, so I, I can't link it or anything, but I'll link you down below in the description box so if anybody wants to follow you. Uh, he's a good guy. He's a hooper. He is a sneakerhead and all that stuff. So, you know, like the, the whole community vibe and aspect of everything. Yeah, big thank you, man. I did receive it. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate this. Yeah, he's this is cool, man. Like, what a way to end it. Merry Christmas. To me. It's a Nightwing Christmas. This is cool. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Let me know what you guys think about everything. And until next time, guys, have a good one.